Welcome back. I'm Liam Stapleton, consultant podiatrist and specialist in podiatric sports medicine, and we're going to take a look through another treatment video. And here we are performing a demonstration of a corticosteroid and osteoid injection for subtalar joint osteoarthritis. Now, the subtalar joint is the joint below the ankle joint, uh, which produces the rotational movement or the side to side movement in your ankle. Uh, this is a common uh, spot for osteoarthritis, especially following trauma. Uh, and this is a diagnosis usually made by MRI scan. Uh, this is a slightly more complex injection to perform. I am uh, ensuring accurate needle placement uh, using ultrasound guidance. Uh, the needle placement is usually within the sinus tarsi, which is a usually comfortable position uh, to place a needle. I utilize a connecting tube as you can see here now this enables me to perform what is a rather high volume injection uh, without utilizing large uh, syringes which can be uh, ungainly and difficult uh, and uncomfortable for the patient uh, th this also means that through one needle i can attach three separate uh, pharma, uh, pharmacological agents, the first being local anesthesia, the second being a corticosteroid, in this case Depomedrone, and in the third, third uh, is uh, Ostinil, which is a brand name of hyaluronic acid, uh, which lubricates the joint, acting like WD-40 for a rusty joint. I always ensure we mobilise the joint afterwards as this can leave the patient feeling very stiff otherwise and patients are advised uh, to continue these mobilisations themselves for the first 48 hours and I have found this greatly increases the success of these injections. Uh, thank you for watching and please like the video and subscribe to the channel.